We are facing global challenges. Fight against poverty, food security, protection of biodiversity, adaptation to climate change. Sustainable farming is one of the ways of addressing these challenges. However, this type of agriculture does not only concern the farms. As a matter of fact, even when the agroecological practices and management are successfully implemented, numerous external factors can influence agricultural development. Factors of an administrative nature, such as difficulties accessing property. Factors of a physical nature, such as eroded lands or limited water resources. Factors of an economic nature, such as easy or difficult connections to the market. Consequently, to achieve sustainable farming, in addition to supporting the farms, let's take these external factors into account and act in the territories. Let's act by working towards land security. Let's act to limit erosion by planting, or let's act by developing irrigated areas to secure access to water. Let's act by creating and developing marketing channels. However, in order to be relevant and efficient, let's build these actions with the actors of the territories. Decision makers, technicians, tradesmen, consumers. To sum up, let's reconcile various interests and strategies. This is not easy, but it is this approach that AgriSud International promotes and implements in the field with its partners. And it is this approach that is explained in detail in the guide, Agriculture and Dynamics of the Territories. This guide is a work of capitalization of AgriSud's field experience in the different contexts of intervention in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean. It is a guide for action. It is organized into methodology sheets and tool sheets, illustrated with actual cases. And it is intended for all those who believe that sustainable farming is not only the concern of the farms, but rather a work to be undertaken at the territorial level.